Welcome to ITU Telecom World 2017 in Busan in the Republic of Korea. I'm pleased to be joined by Mustafa Essa, who is from Vodafone. Mustafa, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thank you, Kate. Thank you very much. Now, I'd like to start off by asking you about smart digital transformation. What does smart digital transformation mean to you? So, uh, you can say that the smart digital transformation is considered to be the normal evolution. Uh, of the business uh, in, in any market uh, for any company. Uh, during the last decade, uh, you can find uh, like a jump in the technology. Uh, this jump has affected all the aspects of the ecosystem of the market, uh, starting from the platforms, uh, mobile applications, and tools. And this jump has been reflected to the customers, which is generating new requirements by these customers. Uh, if we take the customer service, for example, you'll see that uh, right now the customers will need in, in, in new requirements and new needs um, like an instant uh, feedback from their product or customer or provider, uh, an instant uh, complaint uh, system, uh, or even an instant, um, if we can say, a product development uh, suggestion. So uh, if the companies uh, try to do this uh, job, whether the old-fashioned way, it will, it will fail and it will be history uh, within uh, a couple of years. So I think that the digital transformation is an essential uh, step for uh, any company in, in the market, for any technology. So to tell us a little bit about so your solution to using smart technologies to make a difference. Yes, uh, our solution, which is the iNetwork, it's basically a uh, self-optimized network server which is um, basically built, built on, on the concept of uh, mobile network robustness uh, and, and, and uh, performance sustainability. So uh, since 2015, once the iNetwork had been launched, uh, iNetwork had uh, enhanced uh, Vodafone uh, network KPIs, support the planning engineer and optimization engineer, and also offloaded uh, a lot of operational work 24 by 7 efficiently. Uh, so we can say that in Vodafone right now we have uh, our network powered with a machine that uh, depending on smart machine learning and, 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 and artificial intelligence serving our customers to the best. Excellent. And what do you think are the key challenges and opportunities that you see in the expansion of AI technologies and services? So uh, you can say that uh, we have two main challenges for uh, the AI and, and its expansion. Uh, mainly the, the first one is the technical one, which is uh, the, uh, the limitation of the processing uh, and storage capability. And I think this uh, challenge it will be vanished within uh, two or three years due to the huge number of researches that are done by, the, by the researchers and institutes and, and, and academia. Uh, also for the vendors. Uh, the other, other challenge, main challenge is an ethical one, uh, and I think that uh, the, the historical question for, 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 for the AI, uh, to which extent uh, and to which limit that we should let the machine uh, take the decision solely without any human intervention, and shall we kill the creativity in the machine if it exists or not? So uh, this question may be limit uh, the expansion of the AI. For the, on the other side, we have a lot of uh, enormous number of, um, uh, if I can say, uh, opportunities like uh, making life easier, uh, saving the humanity, and I believe uh, by myself that uh, AI may may have uh, a chance to help the humanity uh, remove all their conflicts and and and, and if it eliminate the human selfish intention which is normally exist, we can, it can collaborate the humans on one goal, one value. Maybe the AI will, will succeed in what we feel in it. <laughs> yes, no, that would be brilliant. I mean, you also entered the ITU Telecom World Awards and you've got a stand here. I wanted to ask you, what's the value of attending events such as ITU Telecom World? Uh, yes, well, the, if you can say that, uh, first thing that we, we, we presented our, our innovated patented uh, solution, which is the iNetwork, which is uh, considered to be uh, the, the unique uh, machine that's working uh, in a new AI concept, uh, which is, uh, if I can say, uh, letting the machine have an imagination create its own uh, concept and its own strategy uh, and decision analysis and could be a gateway for, for the next generation of the AI. Mainly the ITU is uh, considered to be a hub for uh, where the AICT uh, decision maker and expertise met 
to unify their vision for uh, for the future of the ICT. Uh, and I wish this, uh, the ICT uh, succeed to uh, always to mind the gap of this uh, <laughs> the gap between these uh, aspects. Uh, mainly, and also have been uh, seeing that. Uh, most of the buses were very, very, very exciting. Most of the uh, exhibitors uh, do their best to, uh, to show their capabilities, uh, like SKT, Telecom, uh, China, uh, Puthis also, and uh, all the Af African uh, buses as well. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for joining us today, Mustafa Essa, and uh, we wish you the very best of luck uh, with the awards and uh, in the future as well. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. It's an honor to me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.